Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Gritty Gamester back with another beginner's guide to Conan Exiles and I am playing on the PlayStation 4 single player and in today's guide I'm going to cover something that I've had a few people in my live streams ask about and that is can you change your character mid-game? Yeah, you can. And uh, right behind me is the Orb of Nergal, and we're going to talk about that in this guide, how to get it. Now, this uh, bench has some lore to it that I'd like to read because this is pretty interesting. And it goes along with uh, the Conan lore, of course, and it kind of ties in with the sorcery that's coming up in 3.0. Yeah. So it goes to say, long ago in the age before the oceans fell upon the doomed spires of Atlantis, the Book of Skelos tells of an object that came from the stars, a dusky orb of unknowable fabrication, attuned to an eldritch and malign god that offered physical transformation in exchange for a blood sacrifice in the name of that evil entity, Nergal. Yeah, so if we take a closer look at this and I'm trying not to get the name to show up here while we look at this you can see the orb of Nergal itself right in the center back of this altar and then in front of that is a pool of blood where the sacrifice was made there's a skull there there's a fab piece of fabric covered in blood we have a knife and a bowl we have some books and candles and you know potions everything you need for a ritual really so this is kind of a uh, creepy looking bench, actually. <laughs> yeah, so let's take a look at how you can actually get this. So you want to go into your feats. You want to scroll over to survivalist and then all the way to the bottom. It has its own little spot. So you can get this at level 45, but it's quite costly in feats. It costs 10 feet points to get. And uh, yeah, this Orb of Nergal is an artifact of unyield unyielding malignancy, promising physical transformation. Yeah, so this is what's going to change your features. So let's go ahead now. This is handcrafted. Once you get that in your feet, it is handcrafted. So let's go ahead and scroll down until we get to this and it's right here and as you can see it costs 100 insulated wood 50 twine and 50 steel bar so it's not cheap to make yeah so once you have that i'm gonna take a drink here let's go up and open this up and see exactly what you can do with this now what this actually does and it allows you to access the player character menu in the beginning of the game the only thing that it does not do is allow you to change the sex of your character. Right. So if you chose female, you must remain female, unfortunately. It does allow you to change your race. It allows you to change your voice, your head options, which uh, we ladies are going to like and maybe some men as well. Uh, you can change your hairstyles if you so choose. And you can change your uh, face. And here we go with the hair. Absolutely. Nice, nice. And the color, your eyebrows, the color of your eyebrows, your eyeshadow, lips, etc. And then it will also let you tweak your facial features. Yeah. So this is, uh, oh, you could spend hours doing this. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can change your body features. So if you would like to be smaller, um, you're finding that it's harder to get into smaller spots because you've chosen a really large, tall character. You can shorten that. Or if you want to be uh, larger than anyone else, you can actually change your physique there. Uh, again, nudity is depends on your server. Physique. Uh, is if you want to be more toned, you want to be more fleshy, you can change that. And then, of course, for you ladies, uh, breast size, if that matters to you. So, yeah, guys, it's it's uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if it would be beneficial to change the sex of your character. Maybe they might do something about that in 3.0. Oh, they haven't said anything, but we don't know. So, uh, yeah, guys, as simple as that. Yeah, 
So if you want to uh, change up your character a little bit, uh, hairstyle, colors, anything, that's what you need to do. Well, all right, guys, if you found this helpful, please give me that big old like. And if you would like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. And at the end of this guide, I will put a link to my guides and also to my live streams. I am doing uh, on the Isle of Sipta. It's a role play called the Sea Raven. Pop in if you like role play. All right, guys, again, thank you so, so much. And until next time, GG out.